welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I want to mention how some designer's ideas come up. One of the ways to get a designer's idea is to see some material, some fabric, some yarn, whatever it might be that inspires you and like lets you start thinking about what would come out of it. You can already find some food for your creative thought in stores like Joann's or Michael's or probably Hobby Lobby. For example, I was looking for some cotton yarn and look how many different colors there are to choose from. So if you remember a couple of videos ago, I was looking at this uh, eco cotton and I got some. So I needed uh, a sample to see how high copper, how it looks in certain texture because you know, uh, each material in different shape or um, different color will look different. Well, that's what happened with my yarn because someone stole it from me. Mm -hmm. I have a project in my mind. So because Michaels didn't have enough of the yarn um, in the store, none of the stores around me had uh, enough yarn. I ordered it online, also ordered these needles from Amazon. I have needles, but I needed certain size. So I started my uh, project that was pretty efficient. Look, um, I just was about to run out of thread when I was already done. So what I had in mind was a short uh, cardigan that I could throw over a sundress in the evening in summer or if I wanted to protect my shoulders a little bit, uh, but I wanted it to be um, a little Spanish style and honestly when I was in high school I saw something that inspired me and I still remember it was uh, um, a video of a singer I cannot remember who that was it was a long time ago it was like 1992 or 1991 and there was this beautiful girl in a sundress um, dancing and such a cardigan over her shoulders so I guess I like this style I will stick to it it's not too difficult but a little bit of effort and yes I don't hold these in my head I do remember a few easy styles that uh, ornaments that I can do but uh, I just go on YouTube and look what YouTube bloggers offer so I make many decisions on the go I decided to do reglan here uh, so I can do the sleeves and this is a part of the process of creating when um, you change your mind and uh, do what you think is best because not always what you think is best will turn out best so I am separating the future sleeve from the bodice. I inserted thread into the future sleeves and that way I can connect the front and the back of the cardigan. So I'm trying what is already done on to see if all the widths are enough for my size. And look how well it turned out. Um, look at the details and the little buttons that I added. 
and I made uh, a kind of like in my mind at least Spanish style shorter but very wide sleeve the yarn is really really soft let me try it on and show you a little bit but I'm planning to do uh, a video about styling this cardigan because uh, you can style it in a very contemporary style as well as more traditional and feminine and look at the sleeve it's so awesome I already wore it uh, several times out on sundresses just as planned. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope I inspired you for some creative projects and please consider to subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you see the videos when I upload them. Thank you for your thumbs up and my special thank you to my creative team.